in this video it's time for another road trip um, although we were meant to be going to the Netherlands I'm not sure we will be going to the Netherlands there's a really annoying squeak going on with a fan belt for a start and um, I think we might use another car because frankly I think we need more space this car is too small but anyway first of all I need to go to Yorkshire Right, so we're a few miles from home and the um, last time I stopped the engine was surging on idle so let's see if that's stopped. Nope, still surging. Oh well. Only about 500 miles to go until we're home. is very happy at all but um, the rover is still in the Midlands and I have no way of accessing it so I, it's not like I can swap to a more sensible car the only car I have is a 2CV but it's also far from healthy and is leaking oil everywhere hmm. I did tweak the idle up a bit yesterday maybe I should have left well alone Oh, there we go, that's 89,000 miles. Well done, Myrtle. So yeah, th this trip, um, I'm off to um, a car show tomorrow, which is about sports cars, um, which is not very hub nut, but um, there's some retro Japanese work to be done there. And then I'm gently making my way towards Harwich, where I'm gonna jump on a boat and go to the Netherlands. Um, to shoot a feature or several features for Classic Jaguar magazine. Um, so uh, yeah, a busy few days again. And then Harwich to my house is about, I think that's getting up to 300 miles because you have to completely cross the UK or certainly Great Britain uh, to, to achieve it. So that's going to be um, fun, uh, especially if this car doesn't start behaving itself. I haven't even got any tools on me. Maybe that was a mistake. Ah, we have, we, we have stopped here in Slangerig uh, to visit the post office. And um, the idol does seem to have settled down. Good. Oh, bloody hell. This is a disaster. It doesn't hold my bottle of fridge. What am I meant to do? Right, enough of fridge. We just stopped and um, interesting, very colourful puddles in front of the car. So let's have a look. Let me work out what's going on under here. We've got a fair amount of seepage <coughs> on this corner of the cam cover gasket, which might explain it. It's certainly a bit damp down there. Hopefully, not too much oil leaking out. A quick check at the level. Hmm, I need to go and wipe and do that properly, which I can't do with one hand. Yeah, I think we're just going to push on and assume all is well. Um, I've had to finish my fridge because I cannot leave it um, in the cup holder. If that's the biggest catastrophe on this trip, I'll be very happy. Slogging hard along the M62, that Volkswagen Passat really doesn't want to be overtaken by me. I've got my foot pretty much nailed to the floor at the moment, so we're climbing up to the highest point on the UK motorway network. Came over here not all that long ago in the Rover. It didn't smell as much as coming up in the Matiz, I must admit. Here we go, here comes the sign. Approved we're at the highest motorway in England. Uh, 372 metres or 1,221 feet. Right, it's day two of this trip. There are McLarens and Porsches 
all about at a um, sports cars in the park meet. Uh, this isn't it. This is just a general car park. I'm not sure why the McLarens are over here. Um, but we shall go and investigate. Um, so far, we've covered about 200 miles since leaving the house. I found we did 5 miles before it clocked up 89,000 miles yesterday. Uh, the back is in mild pain. The idle is still quite iffy. But we're still going, so it's alright. Right, we have left sports cars in the park. Although most of them were leaving the park as well. And um, no, one, no one at the exits was interested in a day whom it is leaving. Bit of a shame. And the maybe park near the toilets. But that's fine. Um, that's practical. Um, I've given up the sat nav. And I have a map. And um, I don't really know what to do next. So um, I'm hunting the steam railway. So I'm going to have a look at the map and see if there is anything like that here. In this very pretty, well it is pretty, but I'm under trees. Lovely part of Yorkshire. So, um, my house is over here somewhere on a road which isn't actually shown on the map, but there's Aberystwyth. And uh, yesterday we came up here along the M62 and up here. And we are now, th there's Harrogate, there's Weatherby. We're, we're about here somewhere heading towards Otley and Leeds Bradford. Uh, so I think we're kind of doing a loop from where I was earlier at the sports car show. But maybe I should head a bit more up this way, uh, up into the Yorkshire Dales and see what joys we can find there. But I'll look at a map and see if there's anything steam railway-ish. I feel like some culture. Yeah, here we go. MZ and Bolton Abbey Steam Railway. I used to have a pen friend in um, MZ. We used to meet occasionally on holiday as children. Uh, pen friends, in the olden days, we used to have to write letters. No emojis existed. Dark, dark times. And so this is Otley. Uh, very nice little town. Lovely old buildings. But I can't say I like the traffic lights very much. Oh, that guy just went straight through red and I just recorded it. Shall I tell the law? Blimey, town crier. That's some voice. I don't believe this horse is really capable of hitting the national speed limit. We've even got cars in Wales now, but apparently Yorkshire, further behind. Well, this is certainly pretty enough. Right, let's go find the railway. Still chirping away, aren't you, little myrtle? I thought it was going to be just along here, but apparently not. But there's a railway bridge, that's got to be a good sign, surely. Ugh. That's the problem with this car, sometimes you hit bumps and it goes proper wobbly. But um, yeah, I'm not hoping this place has a t-shirt. Ooh, Emze. That's where my pen friend lived. I've never been here before in my life, but I've sent many letters this way. Oh well, Laura, if you're out there, I can't remember your surname, I can't remember your address. You're probably grateful of that. There's your actual steam train. Oh yes, I think this will do. So here we are at MZ Railway Station. Uh, it's one of many preserved railways, pretty much run exclusively by volunteers. And uh, very lovely indeed. But if we um, go and have a mooch up the stairs, and uh, because obviously it's the only sensible way of doing it, there's a subtle sign that says we shouldn't cross on the railway. Um, but if we go hoppity 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 up the bridge. Look at that lovely lamp. And um, yeah, you can see what a gorgeous area this is. Very lovely indeed, made all the better by the little Matisse hiding behind the Emze sign. Oh, this is so nice. I so need some relaxation time. 
Mm. From here, you can tell that I haven't polished the roof yet. I really must crack on and do that. And you can also see me, look, there's the gimbal. And there's me standing next to it. Hello. Right, can't set the train yet, still waiting. Here it comes. On the wrong side of the railway, really. Quite sprightly with no load on. And she's preparing to go. You can hear it's forcing air through the coal. That's what the noise is to get it burning really, really hot. Poor little myrtles getting smoked out. Yep, that's hot. They go to safety valve. Right Myrtle, shall we press on? Right, this is Nidderdale, um, an area of outstanding natural beauty as we head towards Harrogate where I'm stopping for the night. Uh, not particularly fancy Airbnb, but um, focus very much on cost rather than anything else. It looks decent enough, the people look nice, that's what's important. Strange globules on the horizon. But this is just marvellous. Even if the roads are full of slow people. I just had someone flashing at me hyperactively to warn me of a police camera van. But I was doing 60 in a 60 so I don't see what the problem was. Well it's very bright and sunny here in Harrogate this morning. And um, yeah, they have quite the rush out here. It's um, almost nine o'clock and um, we're barely moving. Um, but then maybe that's a good thing because um, last night's sleep wasn't the best. Uh, it's so far my only bad Airbnb experience. Um, well, if you possibly exclude the one in um, Southampton where um, there were a couple of girls staying there and um, they very loudly decided the best time to go out was 11 o'clock at night and uh, to do this you apparently need lots of music and giggling uh, but that wasn't great to be honest but um, last night trumped that because it was a house where the walls were paper thin and um, the sound of a washing machine sounding like it was directly under my bed wasn't great but thankfully that did stop at half ten which is about the time I like to go to sleep um, and then um, yeah, the real problem was the blazing row that the occupants of the house had uh, gone midnight. Uh, lots of F in this and F in that, and you're just like, oh, for goodness sake, people. Uh, they moved to a different part of the house to try and contain said argument, and I can confirm that that had no effect whatsoever. And um, something is still chittering away under the bonnet. The idle is quite high this morning. It does vary throughout the day. And still surges at times as well. Sometimes it settles down to a really nice idle, and other times not so much. But today we're going to Lincoln for no better reason than I've been through Lincoln a few times. I don't think I've ever stopped and had a good mooch around. So, gonna go and do that. 
Right, so just refueled myself and the Matiz, and I'm afraid the economy has dropped to 49. It was 51 after the first tank, um, but um, still 34 quid to cover 290 miles isn't bad going, I don't think. Right, ever on board. The CV joint is having a good old clatter this morning. It's fine, we're still going. Believe it or not, there are some things that make the Matiz less than ideal when it comes to um, cruising along, covering hundreds of miles a day. Um, the pedal position is one. Um, I've got the seat as far back as it'll go, and I'm still a little cramped on the proper leg. And there's nowhere for my left leg to rest when it's not on the clutch, so I end up having to try and hide it under the pedal. Uh, such is life with small cars, I fear. Oh, what a lovely brown truck. Brown and beige, what a winning colour combination. But what that leads to is pain in both ankles or the shin, because you have to hold your foot at an unusual angle. That be Lincoln Cathedral. A few miles away. Let's go and have a closer look. Well, here we are in the middle of Lincoln. What a fantastic spot! Marvelous. Well worth the climb. And it was quite a climb. And I haven't got my gimbal or the wind thing with me. I apologise. It'd be one o'clock then. Unexpected blues. Lincolnshire is the land of big skies and big wind. So we're now in, um, or still in Lincolnshire, I should say. Um, we've just driven a Rover P6 um, because I've just caught up with my friend and fellow writer and editor Peter Simpson. Wait for this golf, where are you going? You going this way? You are going this way. And uh, that's going to be another video coming up. Um, I love Rover P6s, um, so spoiler alert, I like that one rather a lot. And uh, I'm going to see further friends of mine stop the night in Lincolnshire and then tomorrow gently make my way towards Harwich. Well it's now Wednesday, isn't it? No, it's no Tuesday. Let's try again. It's now Tuesday, it's the fourth day of this trip. Um, we're just over 450 miles for the journey so far. 177 miles since filling up in Harrogate yesterday morning very pleasant stay in, in the Cambridgeshire, uh, sorry, Lincolnshire Fens. And uh, now I'm making my way towards the east coast. We've reached Clacton Seafront and there goes a two-tone Vauxhall Vectra hearse. Uh, I thought I didn't care what happened to me after I died, but please do not let my body be carted off in a Vauxhall Vectra. Even Hubner has standards. Oh, there we go. That is the sea over there. We have made it. Well, I've managed to do coast to coast in a day um it is. Where are the adoring crowds? Where are the gorgeous women? Do I not deserve some sort of medal? Now, is Clacton on Sea as dreadful as I've been led to believe? Let's go and find out. Turns out I went the wrong way. There's something approaching a pier down there though. So let's go and have a pier at the pier. I do like holiday resorts out of season. There's always something a bit tragic about them. Kind of a British seaside resort without some awful crazy golf. But um, look, a thing. Is that a Chrysler Airflow? Um, doesn't appear to have any wipers. Makes me wonder whether it actually ever moves. Uh, right. I'm going to have a meet around here and find some tea. Well, it's a bit different to um, Lincoln. It's 
got a little train. This is weird. I mean, it's September. The season didn't end that long ago, but it's completely dead. Everything's shut. I haven't even found tea yet. How disappointing. No, you can't get a cup of tea in Clacton, apparently. It's shut. And even worse, they've got commercial radio on. Goodness sake. No. Get me out of here. I need tea. I've decided I like um, Clacton about as much as I expected, which is not very much. TV joints also don't like it very much. So I think the best thing to do on balance is run away. And we'll find somewhere further up the coast to hide for a bit. There is that Chrysler. Run away, run away. This is a bit more like it, literally seconds out of Clacton and we've got a nice twisty road. Look, there are lots of caravans. Friendly traveller people. Hello, friendly traveller people. Feels like we're doing a zillion miles an hour, we're doing 45. jump on a boat and go to an even greater Holland. Stay there. Just filled up again. Uh, it was 302 miles done on 26 quid's worth, no 26 litres of fuel, 34 pounds worth. Oh. And um, 51.8 mpg yeah, I've been taking it a bit easy so it's nice to know that is in fact working it's getting suitably epic here I, I do like the onset of autumnal dusk and uh, we've got far more colour going on in that sky than my rubbish phone is going to show you I've got quite a dirty windscreen Paul Myrtle's covered quite a lot of miles recently which has allowed a bit of muck lovely Now I'm in something that's got lots of lights all over the place and a very, very bright sat nav screen. Uh, we are heading to the docks, we have abandoned the Matiz and um, there will be more on what on earth we're in tomorrow because I can't show you very much of it right now. Headlights are quite good though. to travel when looking for photo shoot locations. We're a bit short of spots on this trip, but this Audi 100 is rather glorious. Alright, you may notice I'm back in the Matiz. So the last footage was of um, very 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 nice Jaguars in the Netherlands um, we did that trip in Matt the photographer's um, Merck which um, was quite refined a bit more refined than a Dayu Matiz but anyway uh, I've decided I'm not taking the Matiz home the Matiz is going to swap back with the Rover again so um, poor Chris has been used as a storage facility in the Midlands at the moment and um, he can sort out that horribly clackery um, CV joint because it is pretty bad and um, I'm going to carry on driving to his now. That's 120 miles away and um, it's 20 to 8 in the morning so um, it could be exciting. Also quite sunny. 
you note, but we will be driving away from the sun once I get out of this little estate. Got fans on maximum chatter because it's a chilly old morning. Oh, there's some clackering of the um, CV joint right there. As we're inevitably queuing in traffic at this time in the morning, um, it's a good time to say that the idle seems to have improved itself, which is making driving at these slow speeds much easier because my foot is completely off the clutch. At the moment we are crawling along in first and um, yeah, she wasn't doing this at the start of the journey. Nice Volkswagen T3 camper there, or T25, sorry for UK viewers. And the end of the Matiz mission has been achieved. Um, she has covered over 750 miles, um, if you can get in and see. Uh, since Saturday, it's still Thursday, but um, the Matiz is not coming home uh, because I'm back at Chris's again and I'm gonna go home in the Rover. So um, that was due some fettling, but we haven't carried out the fettling yet. There hasn't been time because Chris has been away and I've been away. But he's going to do some more work on the Matiz. Um, front brakes, CV joint this side, and um, go through the cooling system. Give it a good flush. Now we've um, proved it's nice and dry. So well done, Myrtle, the Matiz. Uh, she's done very well on that trip and not been as horrendous as you might expect um, over such distance. Well, I think my legs and my back will be glad to get back to the comfort of the Rover. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.